You see, at times we undervalue the importance of our relationship with trees and our relationship with all the surrounding ecosystems that are in place for us to survive. As a species, we are affected by everything that happens in nature, and in return, everything we do affects nature. For most of us, it is becoming increasingly difficult to understand these delicate relationships because we are steadily isolating ourselves from our environment. The less we associate ourselves with nature and the more we shrink into a man-made world, the more we end up thinking of the other elements as things that should be dominated or controlled by us. But in truth, we need to correct this perception of where we, as a species, fit in all this. And we need to understand the symbiotic relationship we have with trees and the impact we have on our planet. Once we understand this, we shall be able to take educated decisions that our future selves and future generations will thank us for. We can all agree that planting more trees can make the world a better place to live in. But once we come to this realization, then what? How would we even begin to plant more trees? Is it as simple as planting a sapling on a piece of barren land and hoping that it grows into a fruitful tree? And in hindsight, planting enough trees to make a noticeable difference takes time. Who has time to plant all these trees and save the world anyway, right? And even if we did have, or even if we did create the time to plant more trees, surely there is a process to be learned to plant trees correctly. This is exactly what the Planting Trees, Planting Dreams campaign addresses. project is actually planting trees within, within schools. Uh, the aim is to urge people uh, to be active, to grow their own trees themselves, to increase the footprint and the number of trees in urban areas, where schools actually are, are in urban areas. At the moment there's sort of a policy that trees are removed from urban areas. So I think we're doing the reverse of what's actually happening at the moment and we're putting back trees in, in, in the built-up towns and schools actually. Through such initiatives, the students become part of the solution. They receive the necessary education to better their own future, and they receive valuable skills to replenish and live in harmony with the land, as they acquire valuable tools to preserve and enhance their environment. And they're going to need all the help they can get now, because in fairness, the environment we are gifting them for their future is somewhat of a disappointment. When the students learn about the benefits of planting more trees, as well as understand the arduous process behind planting trees, they become more aware about how they may contribute to the environment. They discover a sense of stewardship for the land. They gain an understanding that with the right knowledge and appropriate skills, they are able to change things for the better. By coming into nature and digging a hole and actually maybe growing a tree, planting a tree, learning about the tree and how to take care of it, I think it it sort of instills more of a communication and connection with nature and team up and get involved and do anything we can to just simply plant trees in Malta. Doesn't matter where, how, what, we just simply want to plant trees. Turning our planet greener does not require a miracle. It just requires a little bit of hard work from our side. Planting trees means planting hope. It is planting a dream for the future. It is instilling the belief that we can provide solutions to better our tomorrow. Yet to really understand this, we really need to remind ourselves of the benefits of trees. سجارة ما فينا بورتانت يال الهيا تانا مش بيصل السكولة عشان السكولة تانا مش قاعدة في بيلت يو فرحل اللي هو يسو فورست يوم دور بالسجار عن دا بزون سجار عشان السكولة تانا كبيرة وما دوارة وخفنا طرق وقفي طرق ويادو قلنا من الكاروتسيل كلهم الدوهان والدوهان وفير مفرش مالاريا ويستاي تهول السكولة ويكونا وما تتشوم ريه هادي هو نفس ما تستريح شي جويري خاص لي اوريها مستبيها Trees are the lungs of our planet through their leaves and bark, they breathe in harmful pollutants and release clean oxygen for us to breathe. Trees provide food and shade, and they create a habitat for other organisms to flourish in. We are truly dependent on the land we walk on, and the trees have been an undervalued yet integral part of our existence. Put very simply, trees improve our quality of life. We will discover more about the benefits of planting trees in a moment. However, primarily, we need to acknowledge that the mammoth task of saving the world and reversing climate change is certainly not something one should try to do alone.
But on the other hand, the scale and heaviness of the global problem should not inhibit us from being part of the solution. It should actually motivate us to join other committed individuals and local communities who are already actively working together on creating long-lasting solutions to problems that we all helped create. These students, they are growing up in a society which gratifies um, instant gratification. But this project helps them to see another, the end, another end of the line in the sense that to help to grow up a tree, it takes years, it takes two years actually. So they learn the virtue of patience and uh, that, that in the sense of responsibility that if you don't care for this tree, it, it, it may die. Joining established communities to plant trees together makes sense and conveying valuable knowledge to the youth by simply involving them in the process is an easy way to invest in our future. Planting trees in schools offers students, parents and teachers alike the opportunity to unite and work together with a common goal at heart. It is through this process that they all become part of the solution. It is imperative that young children begin thinking about environmental conservation at an early stage in their lives and it is equally important to make environmental education fun and appealing through personal and hands-on experiences, interactive workshops and inspirational tasks they can enjoy. They learn about what kind of compost should be used and how to properly mulch the soil, what trees to plant and when to plant them and best of all they learn and appreciate the true value of their hard work. Lum ke experience sa biha hafna, le wal metajnal skora asamna fmanis li jo shayno kol, emlu ma isu andom experience sabdin ilhaja. كلهم البيانتي جو باكيت تاع الحليب وهرجنيهم الباكيت تاع الحليب وعملوا في الحمريه ودورنيهم بالحمريه تاع برا وبنينا مستشركو مدوار وكلهم زينوا بالجبل ومن بعد مثلا استينا كلش ازرينيهم بالما سقينيهم لينا الما سقينيهم وسادين التستري هونيك لهاد نبريك <تصفيق> Campaigns such as these bring students out of the classrooms and into the gardens. Students feel they're contributing to something bigger than themselves. They're not only doing something for their school, but they're working together for the benefit of their whole neighborhood, as well as to improve the area for future students and residents. They also learn about the importance of planting native and local trees and that each sapling planted now will eventually play a valuable role in creating a healthy and thriving tree population for everyone to benefit from and enjoy. The more awareness we share with the younger generations today, the more empowered and dedicated the stewards of the land of tomorrow. And just like with a seed, with enough nurturing and with the right exposure, this intention will grow and benefit everybody. Importanti naħseb li kollhom sens ta' responsabbilità li n-natura u qudiem meta jivruma u ma jridu jiftu s-sitted post dal li ħanħalu għarajna so tajjeb li nitideo min meta zar biex jarfu l-importanza ta' n-natura u kamal n-natura n-natura u t-sibak jem u t-benefitxi ta' għalina. Environmental change can start with one simple act of compassion towards the land we walk on. It could be picking up a seed from the ground and planting it in some compost, in a cut-out milk carton, and simply taking care of it until it grows into a few-month-old sapling, ready to be then shared back with the earth. It can be anyone who has a genuine love for trees and who is willing to find a very small corner in their garden, yard, rooftop, or even balcony, to nurture a seed and eventually plant it at tree planting events just like this one. It's impossible to ignore that special feeling of elation when walking around a wooded area early in the morning or after a long day at work. There, where you are surrounded by lots of different types of trees, the sounds, the scents, it's just part of who we are. 
It replenishes us. It slows down time, just enough to be able to regroup and refocus. I prefer the sejar. Ashina mhob vera l'ambiente u sejar u fiuri. Jiviri fi l-rabija u fi s-sajf nishti ili jina matani mhul break tijaj nijihudu barra jar min ġowa. Ashi kun vera sabih nimxi unie kol per zempi. Taja pli kunek malaria il-wiri u s-sejar. They have been socializing all day with other kids. Um, they have been hands-on, practical. They they have gone through the steps of the of the tree planting. All of them. Um, it was not something done by adults alone. There was a lot of cooperation, and they were truly involved in all the process of it. So now they truly know the value of planting a tree, what it means, what it entails, and how we're going to take care of it. And uh, to feel also a sense of responsibility to to uh, conserve trees as well from an early age. And uh, I think it has all these benefits, um, holistic benefits for them. Trees are necessary to break up urban heat as they cool the air once they release water vapour through their leaves. In fact, planting more trees is a cost-effective way to improve public health, especially in densely populated countries like Malta. Apart from the obvious benefits of shade and clean air, trees drastically reduce noise and dust pollution as they absorb the daily background noise and fumes created by the ongoing traffic outside the schools. Here we cater for students with severe CBD, social, emotional, behavior difficulties, and working in, in our gardens. It's kind of a therapy for their emotional issues, all that anger, all that build up of pain. When they're doing things, when they're really getting their hands dirty, it's a very good therapy. Studies show that being around a natural environment throughout the day can also boost the students' attention and productivity in the classroom. And walking around wooded areas rather than towering concrete buildings can also boost morale and reduce anxiety. Having trees and shrubs, different plants and bushes on school grounds creates an inviting and nurturing space where students can spend some time away from their already demanding lifestyle. Having them be part of the tree planting campaigns instills within them a moral and environmental responsibility and empowers them to become more aware of what they can do, should not do, and where they fit in with all of this. After all, trees planted today will benefit them and their kids and their grandkids and so on. First of all, they're going to have ownership of the trees here now, because when they came here, they found the trees and they took care of them. This is going to be extra special because now they are taking care of the trees they actually planted here. So there's a sense of belonging. This event also is going to cater and address their social issues because we had people coming from outside the school, we had children coming from other schools and contributing and they were mingling together, they were helping one another. So yes, it's really fun. It's a celebration day. Planting trees in schools is fun and educational. It brings students, parents and teachers together in a light and stress-free environment. It's an opportunity to create change whilst establishing new friendships and pursue new ideas. It's important that other schools do this because Trees are the lungs of the earth, and if and Malta is lacking of trees, so basically, if we grow more, it would it won't do any harm. It would be better. You see, one of the best gifts we can give future generations is trees, and consciously preserving land and open spaces is imperative to live a healthier life. Having abundant land to plant trees on is a necessity. Raising awareness of the importance of land preservation and increased tree plantation is equally important. One of the biggest challenges that people that want to plant trees in Malta have faced is where to plant trees. It's not growing the trees, it's not getting the money to buy the trees, those are easy to address, but where to plant the trees and where we can do it and then set up an irrigation system and, and make sure that they are watered for the first two summers, this has been the biggest challenge. If there's land anywhere that you think we can plant trees and we can somehow set up an irrigation system, please let us know because we and many other organizations are looking for areas that we can safely plant trees in. As agreed earlier, 
Saving the world and reversing climate change is not a task one should undertake and endure alone. Yet indeed, every tiny action you take, every choice that you make as an individual, everything you do creates an impact. Sometimes it's a positive one, other times it's a harmful one. Yet there are dozens of ways you can contribute to making a difference. And it starts by simply becoming more aware of the situation and aware of what can be done to better it. My vision is, with all the construction going on at the moment, I would like that the, the greenery aspect of Malta um, is given prominence. At the moment, I think a lot of trees are being cut and we have to put a stop to it. We can do it. And as a Coscola, even of our school, we're, going, we're trying to promote that as well as a vision with, the, with all the children of the school. Trees teach us to stay steadily rooted while soaring to greater height. They provide shelter and offer a space for life to flourish. And they also offer a sense of calm that can reduce stress and increase performance and productivity. Yes, I will tell them to plant trees because uh, trees uh, obviously help us breed and malt is lacking of trees and we need to plant more. My personal vision is to keep on giving opportunities to the kids entrusted in our care. They are not only our future leaders and our future consumers, they are citizens. And as citizens, they can also transform the whole situation because we're already seeing it happening. They go back home and they tell their parents what needs to be done. So the change is already happening. All we need to do is keep on providing with them with similar opportunities. When I see Malta from an aeroplane, I would really like it to see just simply a lot more green. And I really think we have the potential to do it. I think the more trees we plant, the more ecosystems are created because when trees are planted, they generate soil, they generate habitat, they generate rain even. So planting more trees is really a great way to supercharge the environment. To be honest, I feel joy that we were given, and grateful that we were given this opportunity. And I hope, I hope that we um, are giving them uh, the, the seed, of, if I may say that, that, that they grow up um, caring for the environment and hopefully they will defend their right to live in a greener Malta. Constantly nurturing ideas and staying true to a long-term vision, despite all of the challenges one may encounter, will gradually but inevitably reap positive change. As the saying goes, there is no better way than learning by doing. We need plenty of events like this. Um, uh, first of all, people will see what we're doing and hopefully they will like it, they will learn from it. They get down, get some soil, get some seeds. Plant a tree, and plant a tree. The situation we are in is simply a product of every single decision we have ever made so far. The future well-being of our islands will be a product of every single decision we take from now on. So if you believe in a greener future for our islands and have always felt the call to create positive change for our planet, know that there are organisations and people just like you who are already actively working on long-term solutions and who still believe that together we can make change happen. Get involved with the tree planting campaigns in your localities and in your neighbourhood and become part of the solution. For more information, find us on Facebook or visit www.butwhynot.org.